MovieWeb.com. RJ, the first thing we want to ask you is get get right to it. Um, you know, what can you know fans expect leading into these last few uh, final five episodes of the season? Uh, can you give us sort of a hint of what we might see happening? And are there any sort of major deaths that might come that may be rocking the foundations of the show? Well, as you have you seen later episodes, the two um, these two cousins almost take out my uncle and. Um, that's definitely going to have a tremendous effect on the family, more than R.A. has. And you're going to see Dean Norris' um, character Hank go through a lot of physical changes and mental changes as well. And it's going to be a very strain and very dangerous for the whole family. And, and that, that's one thing yeah, going into the, into the finale? That's one thing that's going to go into the finale. That's uh, what I like most about our show is our finales are very, very dramatic and will affect, this year will affect a lot of episodes. We have some, we have one episode that's a pretty interesting episode that everyone's going to be scratching their head about, but um, it's, it's, it's going to be really good. It's, what I like most though about the everything, Vince and all the writers are completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> We have the writer, we have Vince who was on the X-Files, so there's that kind of quality that has been kind of integrated into the show. So which is going to bring a whole new aspect, and you're definitely going to see that new aspect in the later episodes. What's that new aspect? Can you give us a little hint about what? The creativity of, the, you're, you're really going to see the genius in of our writing crew and directing crew, so. Oh, great. Oh, great. Um, and I don't know, maybe you can't speak to this, but uh, there have been a, a few uh, quiet kind of uh, cues that we can have, uh, sort of assess if you're, if you're watching closely throughout the season. One thing we picked up on was um, there's, there's a painting in the stairway. Uh, uh, it's, it's actually a painting of a stairway to heaven in Jesse's hospital room. So that's sort of made us think that maybe that's foreshadowing that Jesse isn't going to be around too much longer this season. Is that... You never know. It, with our show, like, um, people, a lot of people didn't know this, but the pilot, Jesse actually never woke up from that head injury. And with the way our show works is anyone can die at any time. Brian could, he's not going to live forever. Anna is slowly getting mixed up into this crowd. She's not going to live forever. I, well, Junior, will not live forever. Hank, as you can already see, is in the ICU. And um, by the way, a lot of people are realizing, I, this is, this is how our writers are. Did you, um, episode, one of our episodes is um, the ICU. Didn't put that together, ICU as in the hospital rooms where Dean is now, and um, it's just, with our show, anyone can be gone at any second, it's not a matter of this character plays out to this, it's real life, we show how destructive crystal meth is, we've shown that with heroin, how Jesse and his girlfriend Jane, how they got so much of in his Troubles with rehab and all that. Are we try to bring as much life to the show as possible? So, so it's it's unpredictable. I mean, do you ever get, get worried for your own you no, know, job? I, don't. <laughs> I, I I hope hopefully I will learn when I'm gonna die. But um, it's it's still scary because it can happen in the episode. Yeah. And um, I I really hope I get to spend as much time as I can working on this show, but. Like I said, anyone can go. Well, I know you guys just got picked up for a fourth season, so I was just wondering, um, you know, what direction would you like to see the show take going into the fourth season, and how would you like to see um, your character, Walt Jr., sort of transform and, and, and grow in the, in, the coming, in the new coming season? 
I really, I have no idea. I um, I would love to see more of my character's life. I um, there's not too much you really know about what you know that's going on. We haven't really discussed anything about him. So my character is un, un, un um, uncharted actually. Right. So I I have ideas and little tweaks where I would like to see my um. My character go, Jesse can't be the only one with girlfriends in the movie. Well, I know one of the big thing, cliffhangers or, or big things from last season was uh, the separation of your parents. Yeah. And so I was just wondering, you know, in your own sort of opinion on it, I mean, do you think that we'll see Walt Jr.'s parents getting back together and mending that relationship before the end of the series? Or is that something that's going to kind of go on? Is it possible for them to, to I mend at this point? that... You need to tune into future episodes. It's gonna. You're definitely. Will that be addressed this season? The, some of it will be addressed this season. It's definitely. You're definitely gonna see. You're. You should already be seeing that being addressed semi in some of the episodes. But it's definitely gonna be addressed this season, and it's gonna. It's gonna catch you off by from what happens. Were you were surprised when you when you found out? I was. I I wasn't. I really, I, I don't get surprised because, like I said, this show is so unpredictable. I, I always expect the unexpected with Breaking Bad, and everyone should because, like I said, our whole writing crew is, there's one line, there's a fine line between genius and insanity, and our writing crew is like on the middle. <laughs> They're right on that yeah. fine line, yeah. Um, well, and then I wanted to ask you, um, you know, what do you envision Walt Jr.'s reaction being uh, when he finally learns about what his father's been doing, that the website was a hoax, that, you know, all these lies and betrayals that his father's been, been doing, I mean, is that something that's addressed this season, or do you have sort of in your own mind how you'd like to see that play out? I, um, I, it, that is not going to be so much addressed this season. It's going to be, this season's more about addressing Hank and his well-being. Because it's more going to involve the family with what's going to happen to Hank. And um, this has been, this is a great, you're going to see Dean Norris put on one of the best performances I've ever seen. And um... It can go anywhere. I I would like, from what I understand though, is um playing Walt Jr. for three years. I kind of have my own mindset of where he would, what he would do, and I. It would be disappointing to realize that. It would be an eye opener that not really all these people from all these different places of the world actually cared about his dad. It's going to be kind of an eye opener to see that they no one really cared. It's kind of inhumane to see that, right. and it, I'm sure he's going to be devastated. But that's the world we live in. It's it's actual. It's factual. Yeah. Well, and speaking of of, of Hank, um, you know, Hank gave Walt Jr. the uh, Pablo Escobar book. Yes. And so we sort of saw that as maybe some foreshadowing that. Walt Jr. would somehow either become involved with the business at some point or be the downfall of the business. What, what, what do you think about that? I, I don't know, but you want to hear a pretty cool story. The Pablo Escobar book, we, um, we had all the information. We had the agreement to do it, and when we did it, the guy that has written the book is actually a big fan of the show. And um, I saw Vince the other night, and I'm talking with him, and he's like, by the way, that scene, I had the writer of the book call me and say, I just, I was watching TV, no one told me. And I was flipping through the channels and I was watching my favorite show on television and my book is in it. He's like, so he said, he started sending um, Vince Gilligan a Facebook message saying, thank you for putting the book in it and it was amazing. That's really funny. But um, maybe Walt Jr. will be DEA or maybe he will be Drug dealer. It could go. It could go either way. It's something yeah, that we're gonna have to wait and see. That's something that would probably happen in future seasons. It will. Yeah. It will. I'm. I'm definitely hoping for at least, at least, another three seasons. 
and then you can kind of see that arc then, sort of so build. Because you can, the way our ascendance day by day, it hasn't been too big of a time period, and I'd like to see more of everyone's character transform and to show what everyone everyone's hands are. Yeah, um, and then I wanted to ask, uh, uh, you know, he's. Um, your character is really harboring quite a bit of anger towards his mother, um, really has blamed his mother for a lot of the, the problems in the family relationship. And so I was just wondering, how damaged do you think that relationship is, or is there p potential for you know, the mother and son to come back together? I, I, think, it's, I think it's damaged pretty well. Any, any relationship that is damaged can always grow back together and it will always mend. But I think at the moment it's what Junior is just feeling betrayed and what's going on, no one's telling him anything and it's just really hurting him emotionally and what what happens when you build all that emotion up and manifest in certain ways and it's hitting him hard and he's kind of, he kind of takes it out on his father in the hospital room with the emotions you can kind of feel from from all the build up like what's going on with you I want to know now like just kind of sadness and I think though that later episodes he will come to understand and one of, the, one of my favorite scenes is about to come up and um, it's not really a happy scene but it's more you see a different side of Walt Jr.